I just want to know, why is it so hard to be faithful? Like, I don't know, somebody please tell me to understand this. Like, I, don't, I really don't understand why it's so hard to be faithful, though. Oh, shit. Turn that cop, cop, cop. Try to run the window down. But, yeah. Somebody like me, though. Like, why is it so hard, why is it so hard to be faithful these days? Like, especially if you find somebody who you had a good, genuine connection with that you can actually see yourself being with. Like, why you just can't be good to that person, especially if you know that person being good to you? Like, I don't know. Like, I mean, enlighten me, please, because I don't understand. Like, it must be the season. It must be the season of infidelity and lies and breakups and shit like that, because I don't understand. Because this shit happening more and more and more. Like, this shit is, like, so common. It's just like a pair of white socks on, like, an athlete's feet. Like, nobody wants to be faithful no more because everybody feels like, oh, they done got played or they probably currently get played right now. But how do you know that if you don't, like, sit down and talk to your mate, though? Like, if y'all have no good communication and stuff like that, if somebody, I can, I can see if somebody or people coming and telling you the same different thing, like, oh, I saw your bitch or I saw your dude with such and such and such and such, you know what I'm saying? Maybe that's a little bit different, but if you don't have nobody coming to tell you that and you just going off of your past or whatever, then you need to be single. Because if you still are carrying your baggage from your past relationship into this new one, then you need not to be in this new one. It's just not about the situation. Because especially if you're not that person that can stay single long, like you be jumping from this person, that person, this person, that person, then that's not healthy either. Because you're not fully healing from what happened before. And you can't be looking at the, the new person like what, and you hold them accountable for what the last person did to you. It's just that simple. Like, people tend to realize these days, I don't know what these 2014 mindsets these people have these days, child, I don't know. It's like, you can just do bad by yourself. Like, for real talk, because if they're not after you for what you have, or where you're going, or your, your stature in, these, in society, or whatever, then basically, bitch just not going to fuck with your ass, because they can't get nothing up off you. Like, I don't know, I, I, they probably do, but I haven't been seeing it lately. Like, there's no more genuine chemistry, like a genuine partnership. Like, somebody like, oh, my God, like, I like this person. We met, we connected. We want to be in a relationship. Now it's either, oh, we done smashed a couple of times. Shit, we won't put a towel on it. Or we done smashed. I don't, got, I don't came pregnant. Shit, we stuck together now. Or we don't smash the man, I may have caught feelings, and this and this and this. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever happens to court somebody, like, get to know somebody a little more before you just up and jump in the bed with them. You so quick to jump into sex before you person, then y'all see to get so fast off of lust. Then, a week, two days, three days later, you realize that you really can't sex person, and y'all have nothing in common whatsoever. So now you don't ask somebody to say your sex belt, and now what? It still ain't going nowhere. So now, what you do now? You see, you got to start all over again. I, I just don't get it. Somebody enlighten me, please. Please. Because I don't understand. But that's my rant for the day. I'm over it. Child, catch me when you catch me.